Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. This morning I'm sharing a reading from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 from the King James Version. If there be any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Here ends the reading. Fulfill ye my joy. What did St. Paul say would give him joy? That everyone be of one mind, having love for one another. How many of us would really be filled with joy if that were true among the people that we encounter, especially among Christians? How many crazy disputes are there in churches as to how to do simple things like where to store the coffee pot or should the pastor make announcements before or after the worship service? Definitely not of one mind. Definitely not loving attitudes. Are these minor disputes worth it? Are they at all Christ-like? I fired a volunteer at one time. She did just about everything in the church. She was the treasurer, counted the money, deposited it, and wrote the checks. She was in charge of the altar and the kitchen. It was her way in all things, she said. Even She even had the last say as to where the council was able to spend money, although she was not on the council. If she thought they had made a poor decision, she simply would not write the check. That included paychecks. It took a while to even figure out where she was hiding the money from them. She wasn't stealing it. She was protecting it from the council. When anyone questioned her, she got really nasty. People were insulted and left the church. Others, out of love, just ignored her. Reluctantly, I relieved her of all duties except the kitchen, and then threw her a thank you party for her many years of service. It was rough going at first, but in the end we became very close. You could say we loved each other and were of one mind. She has departed this world, but I think of her often, and those thoughts of her bring me great joy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, unite your people in one mind, a mind to love the people around them, and to love you for the sake of and in the name of Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.